Anirban says that if a fund underperforms its benchmark for about a year to year and a half, should he stop his SIP in it? Uh, depends. If somebody is, you know, <clears throat> I would actually, I have, I have been forced to think about this question in the past. Uh, it entirely depends on the history of the fund manager. If and recently, you know, last couple of years, there has been a situation. It depends on how experienced or how old the fund manager has been at work. If there is a fund manager with 20 year experience and he has, he has generally been right in the last 20 years and in last two years he looks, he looks awful, he looks bad, I would be, I will be giving him more time. But if I know a fund manager has delivered only over the past five years in a certain phase of the market and is struggling in the next phase of the market which is different, because there are fund managers who do very well in the rising market and they struggle in the and they struggle horribly in the in the in a struggling market. Uh, and there are other kind of fund managers. There are fund managers who who struggle in the rising market and they are able to make up with uh, you know their conservative stance in a market which is not doing well and uh, there are fund managers who do reasonably okay in both the markets and overall they do well so broadly based on the cyclicality of the market and the and the attitude of the fund manager we can broadly classify fund managers into one of the three i will give less time to a fund manager with a limited history I might give a longer time frame if I come across a fund manager with you know 10 year 15 year experience has been able to deliver relatively superior performance I will give him two three years time a manager whom I have known just for five years I will be ge getting impatient after a year 